The Nuggets are riding high, and they're trying to show the world that it wasn't a fluke that they beat the Clippers 4-3 to in the semifinals Western Conference Series. So tonight, they're taking on the L.A. Lakers in a seven-game series. And I'm trying to figure out how this is going to go, guys. You got the Lakers with a lot of rest, and you got the Nuggets who had two days of rest, and they're ready to get back after it again tonight. We're going to sit back, and we're going to break it down on exactly what all took place and what was the outcome of the game. Yes. Welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, click those thumbs up, like the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. The Lakers start the game fast, building a five-point lead in the first quarter, only to see that lead change up to where the Nuggets ended up with a 35-34 lead. But things started to things began to shape up in this game real quick. Dwight Howard, I don't know if he stepped into the daggone time machine and went back to the old days when he was playing with the Orlando, Orlando Magic. This is all before the, the Superman stuff started going on. He got in Djokovic's head so tough, man. Djokovic didn't know if he was coming or going. Then, not to make, to make matters worse, you had Anthony Davis just coming out there. When Dwight would go off the court, Anthony Davis was out there shooting his lights out. They made Djokovic work hard tonight. And the crazy thing with that, well, what ended up happening, making him work so hard, he ended up getting in foul trouble. Djokovic and Murray both had three fouls before the half. Then turn around, right after the half, Djokovic get hit with a fourth foul. So Djokovic was in foul trouble early on in the game. He and Murray both ended up with 21 points. But the rest of the team, they 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 didn't have that spark like they did when they played. I'll give the young man, Michael Porter Jr., some credit. He came out there. He, he came on in the fourth quarter, but they need a little bit more of that from him in quarters one, two, or three. I don't know if he got overwhelmed because, because of the pressure of trying to take game one or what, but I know for certain these guys are going to have to sit down and devise a plan on what exactly that they need to do. They had a bunch of turnovers this game, more turnovers than they, well, I'm not going to say they had more turnovers than the Clippers game, but the turnovers pretty much averaged the same in this game as they did the Clippers game. The only difference was Djokovic was on the boards. He was collecting a lot of boards. Djokovic only had two assists tonight. So we're going to see how all of this is going to size up in game number two. The Lakers just, they took advantage of them with that height. I mean, the Lakers threw height at every position on the floor. When Dwight Howard went out the game, you didn't know who was playing the five. I mean, hell, you could have had, um, you could have had J.R. Smith playing the five. As far as, you know, as far as anybody was, J.R. Smith could have been playing the five as far as anybody was concerned. That's how, that's how crazy it got today in this game. But I'm, I got to, you know, today I'm going to give a player of a game award to Dwight Howard because Dwight Howard came out there and he balled. He showed that he was engaged in the game early and he came out there. He gave his team his all tonight. And what he, what he contributed tonight, contributed tonight in this game Help propel, help propel the Lakers to a W. But I can't, you know, I, I can't, I can't step away without saying, you know, Murray tried to do his best like he normally do. He get out there and start trying to, you know, score buckets to keep the team in the game. But having to go down and play defense and then come back and score all those points because they had Djokovic locked down was a bit too much for Murray. Like I stated earlier, Murray got into foul trouble as well. He had three fouls, but his shot just wasn't falling. But, guys, the Lakers took game one tonight. I'm going to ask you right now, who do you have in game two? Leave your comments below and, and, and let me know. Did you see something that the Nuggets could possibly do that would put better position them to get game two? Or how many games do you think this, this series is going to go? I'm going to stay quiet. I'm going to wait till after game two to give my prediction. But, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. And always remember, guys, be that one and lead.